Welcome back to another video on the channel. This is something a little bit different than the regularly scheduled content. Usually I always do tip videos and this is kind of a tip video but also a gameplay because I came back, I had a huge game in my weekend league and you might say, well, it's just a weekend league game. Who cares? Well, I care because I don't want to lose to random people. Like, I'm nice to this guy. Never heard of him. I don't want to lose to him. Simple as that. And that's why I take these games seriously. It's not like... I know that they're not like a big MCS game, but for me they're important and I think that generally I try hard, I try to win and when I have a good game like this, I want to share it with y'all. So this game was played in my last weekly league, I didn't finish it, I went 8-2, I was 8-0 at one point and then I tried to get two quick games in and I just lost and I was like, okay, fuck it, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try, I'm just gonna leave it be and I finished 8-2, which is okay, I'm happy with that for the most part. Uh, and this game was one of the games where I was still thinking, okay, maybe I can finish. So I was putting my all into this and let's break it down. The main focus of this gameplay is going to be how to come back in games because that's something that I kind of have gotten better at. You, you know, if you watch my streams that I'm a pretty energetic guy, meaning I'm a crybaby. When something happens to me and I'm annoyed, I'll let people know and it generally flusters me. And that's something that I've been trying to work on and I feel like I've gotten better at and that's why I want to make this video. Now he starts off in bunch tight end, he starts running the ball. Uh, that is something that I get annoyed by really quickly because it doesn't take that much skill. He has Derrick Henry at quarterback so he's going to scramble a lot as well. I know that missed the gap shoot right there. So you see that I kind of have an idea of what I'm supposed to do. Once again running the ball, kind of annoyed third down right here so i feel like i'm getting a little bit of a sniff on him and then he does that then he just scrambles and at this point i'm like okay this this is gonna be an annoying game he's gonna run the ball a lot and when he passes he's not really gonna pass he's just gonna look to scramble with about 97 speed quarterback i think 96 that's what derrick henry is at so that's gonna be annoying at the eight yard line just runs the ball gets absolutely destroyed right there and that's something that I'm banking on. I want to make sure that I can cause a fumble because he's going to run the ball a lot. So that's going to give me chances. If I get him tired, that's going to be ideal for me. Third and goal right here. Motions out of in route. Beautiful play by him. Looking back on it, I don't think that I could cover that the first time I see it. I was just was not ready for it. He kicks the point, uh, the point after touchdown PAT. He goes up 7-0. So far, nothing that spectacular. You're supposed to get your touchdown on the first drive because your opponent doesn't know what you're doing. Uh... And you're just in a better spot. If you don't get seven the first drive, it's going to be difficult for you. Let me tell you that. Get a beautiful post right here to my tight end. To the 48-yard line of my opponent. First and 10. Running a little bit of a beater. And I just get screamed at in time. That could have been a pick. Seen that a lot this year. It's kind of weird and scary too. Uh, thank God I didn't. The 38 yard line, that's a first down, is it? Yes, it's first down attempt. And I'm going for a beater again. You can see me rolling outside of the pocket, and I have circle, I'll throw it, and it's kind of scary right there because he stops kind of in the back of the end zone. Uh, going for my two point conversion right here. As you see me hitting it uh, to uh, Cliff Branch, get the acrobatic touchdown. So that's huge. Up a point. I like my two-point plays, that's why I usually go for him. I feel like I can get two points on people pretty consistently. And when you get two-point conversions more than 50% of your opponent, you should definitely do that. Uh, he has an open touchdown, he throws it, but Sean T, man, Sean T absolutely just flies over there, makes the play. I thought he was going to egg me right there, but he didn't, so thank God. Second and 10, though, once again, he's running the ball. He was tricking me. I thought, okay, maybe he's going to pass the ball a little bit more. Uh-uh. He's going to keep running this sucker. And I just have to figure a way to uh, figure out a way to get a stop. Beautiful shot right there by Sean T. Once again, making plays on this drive. Second six. Now he runs the play action. Once again, scrambling. And I had not zoned in on that yet. At that point, I was like, okay, maybe he's going to pass. Uh-uh. He's going to keep running this. It's right there. I spy Sean T on the left. Makes him cut to the right. But he still has a lot of yards. And that worries me because I knew what was coming. And he still got that many yards it's frustrating to deal with this third and four though uh he runs the ball gets absolutely destroyed again but he's not tired so he's not gonna fumble that and then i shoot the gap but i i'm not quite there he goes in for the touchdown he kicks he kicks his pat which i think makes sense from his point of view if, he, if he's uh not getting the two points right there he's at 12 points or no, he's at 13 points, my bad. He's at 13 points. Uh, that The math just looks bad for him at that point. So safe taking his points. As right there, I throw bomb again. Taylor Mays, just not there. Beautiful play by me. Uh, t uh, Taylor. I keep saying Taylor Branch. Cliff Branch into the end zone. 4-7. Uh, uh, and now I throw this. And it's kind of close, but it's there. 
once again if you want those two point conversion plays make sure to watch my video on them go link it in the card above beautiful stuff he gets the ball spins a little with uh franco harris doesn't get much though 20 yard line and once again he's gonna keep running pa put over is right there he has an absolute touchdown but we just get the pressure that's huge i thought i put an inside quarter there i guess i didn't uh, and right there he rolls out of the pocket he has the corner on he just scrambles though and we do a good job of absolutely destroying him come on we got we need fumbles on those because yeah we just need to punish him scrambling he throws the ball to the 49 yard line 52 seconds left in the half so he, he three is pretty safe for him right here uh he throws it uh he throws the out route to the 42 of my side of the 50 and he scrambles same deal, he's got a couple of plays, he's got the P boot over, he's got the halfback off tackle, and he has that flood play, uh, that curl flat with the corner out and the out drop. Try to keep him in bounds right here, can't, uh, quite unfortunately. Uh, he's at the 20 and he makes me a good, good stick by him, Percy Harvey gets into the end zone. He kicks his extra points, so he's up 5 points at this point, uh, which I don't mind. I think 5 points is a very good margin because if I get another th uh, 8 points, uh, then... I'm of course up by three, so I'm looking for points on this try. First and ten. I got 13 seconds, that's all you need, baby. My home stopped me that one. Um, that was an amazing game, by the way. Nine seconds left. At this point, I'm probably not getting anything. Post is wide open. I was just throw the crosser for some reason. It gets picked. He runs it back into field goal range. Good stuff by him. 31 yard line. That's that's an easy kick. And now, if I get eight points, I only tie the game. That was very, very bad by me. I should not have done that, and I've given him an eight-point lead. And at this point, the wheels fall off the wagon a little bit. First and 10, once again, in bunch tight end. I get absolutely screamed at. I try to run away, but I can't. X would have been open, but I just couldn't get the time. Right now, it's looking difficult. It's looking kind of tough. Crossbody, heave. Don't get it. Don't get it. What are you going to do? Third and 17. I just got to get a little bit of this back. And he mans up the post. Good job by him. Good adjustment. He saw that, but obviously I got my route tech there. He's going to win, and the wheel route is easy money. Very, very simple. Thank God we converted that. If not, if we hadn't, then that, this would have been a very, very difficult thing to come back from. Right there, throw the post. Beautiful. I uh, get another touchdown on that play. I think about just about every touchdown has been on that play. And right here, I just threw a very bad play. I had a chance maybe to fit that zig in on the right. But he lurks it, and I made a terrible read. So he's up two points, which is not ideal. He gets the ball, which means that he, if he gets seven, he's up nine points. That's two possessions. That's not good. I mishandled that. Uh, all stemming from that pick at the end of half. And right there, he makes this good user play. Uh, good stick for him. And he's gone. Uh, he's gone. That, that was very easy for him. He did not have to do anything that drive. He just got seven handed to him. That's frustrating uh, because now I'm in a bad spot. First of all, off of my bad decision making. And second of all, because he just got one lucky uh, run. That's it. Uh, right there, I probably didn't think that I was... I uh, didn't realize that the play was going. I didn't have the controller in my hand. You know how it'd be. First and 10 now. Got the crosser. And I just throw it. I just throw it. That should have been a pick as well. So right now, I'm flustered. I'm playing a terrible game. Going back to what I know. Uh, trying to get time. Finally gets get a lane to step up. Johnny and I, he's got some speed. He's not the fastest. But if you leave him that much space, he's going to punish you for it. Uh, throwing the wheel route. He's not there with Cam Chancellor. And we get to the outside. This is looking pretty good. I'm finally getting my groove back. That's what's important. When you're down, you just got to do the simple things. And I threw a terrible read again. Uh, you just have to try to find a way uh, to get touched on says I'm looking to do right here. And I just step up inaccurate. And it's a pick. Make the tackle here. And at this point, I'm kind of thinking to myself, okay. What can you do at this point? You can't, you can't complain, but that's not going to help you. You have to understand, okay, what's my what's the task at hand? I need to make sure to stop him this drive. That's the first thing. I can't look ahead to the, uh, to the next drive, how I'm going to score. I'm going to get that chance eventually. It's right there. He breaks another round. Uh, we get the backside support from Marlon Humphrey. And at this point, he's looking pretty dire. Down nine points, fourth quarter. Uh, he can't, can't stop the run. Whenever he passes, he either has it very difficult to guard in route or he scrambles. That's not ideal, but he gives me the ball back, and that's exactly what I needed. Sometimes you need to you need to rely on your opponent's mistake because if he plays that perfectly, of course, I don't get the ball back. This, however, gives me a chance now, and I'm making the most out of it. Try to get out of bounds. Be smart. It's about scoring as fast as possible now and not turning the ball over. Right there, that's annoying because I had the wheel wide open. Second and 10 now, going back to PA boot over. You can see me. I don't have it. I don't have it. 
purely pray that my deep hourly cliff branch goes crazy and nuts in his face and we get the points we get the seven oh uh, actually yeah we get the seven we didn't take the nine so that's huge now we're only down two points we gotta stop him from getting a touchdown that's the huge thing uh, we can't give up a touchdown. Three points, that's fine. And I finally figured out some defense. I'm I'm coming out of Mac Blitz 3. Sean T, the guy that sprints down right here, he's in the QB spot. His job is just to look out for the quarterback. He had the touchdown wide open, but that's what happens. Derrick Henry, you get scramble happy. You make mistakes. It's right there, same adjustment, but I forget to hard flat. So basically, I have to decide whether he runs curl flat or whether he runs PA but over. So I think it's a lot of yards. If he runs curl flat, I need uh, to cover the flat. If he runs... PA boot over. I need the vert hook there. It's right there. We get the sack. Beautiful. He's got that corner out, which ugh, that's annoying. And I'm gonna take that away though. That corner is not gonna be there. So first and 15 because he got a delay of game. Gonna call a time out. Second and 14. We get the shed. Beautiful blitz. Now he can take it down about to 40 seconds. I get the ball back 40 seconds, no timeouts. But I made an adjustment. I put a flat out there. I put a call flat. You can see right there, 30 yards. We're going to take that away. We got the stop. Absolutely huge. Now, if we get a touchdown, I'll win the game. That's what I'm thinking right here because I'm going to need some time to get down there anyway. I'm going to choose some time off the uh, some time on the clock. And you see we break a tackle, get some extra yards, which is not the biggest, biggest deal in the world. We just have to make sure to not waste any time. So you see, we get a step, we throw that, even if he had co uh, continued to use it, that, we would have gotten that. So 42 yard line now, crosser is covered, but we're going to throw this with a low pass, post to the 27, going to spike the ball, and 36 seconds. I'm chilling, actually, I was not nervous at all, I was like, okay, we're going to do this, this is amazing. Uh, corner out is there, but oh my god, that's almost picked. Under pressure kind of made, made uh, him float that, uh, right there. Throw the wheel rod, kind of scary, I'm not going to lie to you, but 15 yard line, that's the, that's a beautiful spot to be in. Spike it, and 14 seconds left. Going to that same wheel route again, you can see it's there, and we throw it absolutely beautiful laser. About 9 seconds left, uh, or 10 rather. We go for the 2 point, uh, just to make sure that it's a 3 point game, because now you can only tie it. Uh, if I go for 1, uh, and he gets a field goal, then he wins. That's not ideal. So I just want to make sure that he has to tie either way. Uh, and yeah, kick it off to him. About seven seconds left. And I'm just sprinting back at this point. There's no way that he's going to beat me. I'm just sprinting all the way back. Uh, he's not going to get me on this. Uh, he throws it to Jay Rice. That's fine. 43 yard line. What, what I care. He's not going to get enough yards and have enough time to spike the ball. <laughs> Man coverage is absolutely whoop. But we're there with Sean T. We get the pick. And, you know, it was looking pretty bad. It was looking rough. We are down nine points without ball, fourth quarter, and we just came back. That's huge for me. I kind of enjoyed playing that game. I was hype afterwards. I had to go to tennis practice right afterwards, beat a guy that I'd never beaten in my life, 6-3, 6-2 for you guys that are tennis nerds. Uh, so I was having a blast of a day. I had fun during this. Believe it or not, it was annoying that he kind of got stops on me and he got kind of fortunate. He, he just broke runs, and it was difficult for me to contain him. But... I just said to myself, okay, there are a couple of things you need to do. You need to get a stop right now. Then, nothing. I was just thinking single-mindedly, okay, get a stop. And then once I got that stop, okay, I was like, let's score. And after I got that score, okay, hold him to three. You can give up big yards, but make sure you don't let him chew clock. Be aggressive. Did that. He almost threw me a pick. And then I just went down and scored seven. You just have to keep your mind uh, focused on the task at hand. Don't think ahead. You can't get more than eight points per drive. So just stay focused on the thing uh, that you need to do at that given moment. Keep your cool. That's something that I have been working on quite a bit. And it has helped me a lot during this game. Especially because I was heated. I didn't think that guy was good. And he was just up on me. He was beating me. I had trouble moving the ball on him. I had trouble stopping him. So it was just frustrating for me. Kept my cool though. And you see good things happen. Appreciate you guys watching this video. If you haven't yet, check out the two-point conversion video that I did a while back great plays in there if you want to steal some of them i don't mind that's what i'm here to do appreciate you guys very much for watching this video till next time peace out